Hey everyone, I'm just hopping on here to give you guys a really quick tip on panning and orbiting around your model. Um, I am using a mouse and a keyboard, so if you are using a laptop, uh, it'll be a little different for you. I'm just going over mouse and keyboard because that's what you should be using with Fusion 360 if possible. Um, okay, this can be confusing for some, so I figured I'd just show you real quick. Uh, generally, if you want to pan, there's a few ways to move around your model. You can go up to this corner right here. If you hit home, it'll kind of take you back to the default view. And you can simply click on these planes and arrows at the top here to move around to different views. You can also click and hold and then drag it from up here, and that's a decent option. Um, there's another option, uh, so let's home this again. If you go down to the bottom of your screen, there's actually an orbit button. So what you do is you click that and you're now in the orbit view. Um, if you click on this little arrow down here, let's see if I can get to it, there's free orbit and constrained orbit. You can play around with these. I almost always stick with constrained orbit if I'm going to use this. Um, Free orbit gets a little crazy, but go ahead and just play around with these. If it's not on constrained orbit, um, I would click on that. So you can see this little circle around this, and it's kind of hard to see, um, pulls up, and there's a little crosshairs square in the middle here. And that's kind of showing you how it's going to orbit around this. So this little crosshair right here in the middle means that's the pivot point. So if I click anywhere in, in this circle, click and hold your left mouse button and then move it, it's panning around that crosshair or orbiting around that crosshair section. And so if I zoom in, you can see the, let's see if I can get a better view of it. Eh, that's probably the best view. There we go. There you can see it. There's your crosshair. Now you can change the location of this crosshair. Let's say I want to get in and really see the inside of this little crevice here. Um, I'm tr it's kind of hard to maybe maneuver that. You can just click, one single click, and you can see it moved that crosshair to this. And now that is now the pivot point. And so you can zoom in, and you can really get a good look in here. And if I wanted to maybe see pivot around this end, you can just click right there, and you can see this little circle moved. And now if I click anywhere in this circle, it's pivoting around that end and you can zoom out and as long as you don't click anywhere else it's going to stay on that point. Now with this um, you can see as I move my mouse around this little circle here there's different options so when it's on this top one or bottom one it's and if I click the mouse and hold down the mouse button and then move it's just going to rotate in that direction no other movement. If I click and hold here, it's going to rotate around this axis. And of course, if I click anywhere on this circle that's not on these points, it's just going to rotate like this. And then anywhere inside the circle where you have this uh, kind of these multi arrows, that's when you get the rotation. So just remember, you just click, it resets that pinpoint where you want. So let's say I want to do this top here you click there now you can click and drag and see that part of the model better now I rarely use this so I'm going to hit the escape button on the keyboard to get out of that tool I usually just use the mouse um, with a wheel my mouse does have one of those wheels on it uh, most modern mouses do so to pan around this um, to zoom in and out you use that wheel to zoom in and out and it doesn't and, and it usually zooms where your mouse is so you can see I'm zooming in where my mouse is if I put my mouse over here it'll zoom in there to pan to drag you just click down on that mouse or on that wheel button so if I click and hold you can see a little hand pops up where my mouse arrow is and now I can move it around like this and if I hold the shift key on my keyboard and click down that wheel, now I get my orbiting. And if you notice this little green dot in the center right here, that is my orbit point. That's kind of like when we go down to this orbit tool and you get those crosshairs. That's the, that's the 
orbit pattern or that's where it's orbiting around. I'm not, I guess I'm not sure what the correct term is, but if you are using your mouse wheel holding shift and then clicking on the wheel, that little green circle you see right above my mouse is where you're orbiting from. And so let's say I want to see this point or see, I really want to look inside this feature of this model. Um, you can see how it'd be really hard. You'd have to like pan it and then try to orbit. You might want to zoom in and then it's still not doing it quite right. Um, a great trick that I don't think a lot of people know is you can reset the orbit with, with your mouse and keyboard. So all you do is hold the shift button and you click on your little wheel. And you can see when I clicked, that little green uh, sphere showed up. And now that is where my orbit point is. So now I can zoom in and you can see that green dot stayed there. So if I wanna move it to you know, right here, I can really rotate around that spot and get in close. And that's important because if, you, uh, if, if your orbit's way over here and you don't know how to change that and you start just kind of spinning around or panning, it can get out of control pretty quickly and you're like, okay, how do I, how do I get to this spot that I want to see? Um, one thing to remember if let's say, uh, let me zoom way out. Let's say your model is just way off to the side and you are just lost in here and you just can't figure out how to get back. There's two really simple ways you can do it way up here in the corner where I showed you this little cube. You can just click the home button and it'll bring it back to home and that kind of resets your view and then you can go back to what you were doing. Um, the other thing you can do, let's bring her way over, right? We're, we, we're just way out of control. I don't know what's going on. You can just double click on the wheel of your mouse and that brings it back to centered. Um, and then, like I said, then you can just shift click, move around exactly where you want. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. It wasn't a very planned video. Someone in my comments had a question on these basic functions, so I thought I'd go through it or go through them. Um, if you have any questions or any other helpful tips, leave them down in the comments, and I will see you in the next video.